Man, the future's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be really unpredictable. The future might just be in your pocket. Elon Musk's Pi phone with built-in Starlink has finally hit the market. And it's not just a phone. It's the world's first truly off-grid communication device. And it could shake the entire smartphone industry to its core. Is this the end of traditional carriers like Verizon? Could Apple's ecosystem finally meet its match? Today, we break down the insane features, the production strategy, and the real reasons behind the surprising discount. How does it work? Who is it actually for? And could this be the missing piece in Musk's off-grid Tesla lifestyle? You're watching Auto Gear Shift, not your average EV hype channel. We cut through the noise and focus on real numbers, real tech, and how Tesla's moves impact you. If that sounds like your kind of content, hit subscribe and tap the bell. Let's push Auto Gear Shift past our next milestone, 1999 subscribers. That's one short of a thousand, and your click could be the one that tips us over. How is this the first smartphone that truly works without a network? At first glance, the 2026 Tesla Pi phone with built-in Starlink might seem like a niche innovation. But its core specs reveal something far more radical. It's a smartphone designed from the ground up not to need the infrastructure we've relied on for over a century. Unlike iPhones or Galaxy flagships that depend entirely on local carriers, the Pi phone's integrated Starlink modem connects directly to low-Earth orbit satellites. This eliminates the need for Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile towers. In remote regions of the U.S., field tests of standard Starlink terminals already show minimum download speeds of 20 to 30 megabits per second, uploads around 5 megabits per second, and latency as low as 25 to 50 milliseconds. Fast enough for video calls, live GPS navigation, and emergency file transfers. For context, Verizon's rural LTE often falls below 5 megabits per second download with latency over 80 milliseconds, making Starlink not just viable, but in some areas superior. Backing this satellite capability is a 5,000 mAh lithium-silicon battery, estimated to deliver over 2.5 days of usage under average conditions, screen on time of approximately 6 hours per day, thanks to Tesla OS's streamlined power management. For comparison, the iPhone 16 Pro Max, 4,422 milliamp hours, lasts about 1.5 days with similar usage, yet offers no off-grid connectivity, no Starlink, and no AI functions without a data signal. What really sets the Pi phone apart is its titanium unibody shell. The same aerospace-grade alloy used in SpaceX Starship components and the Cybertruck's ultra-hard 30X steel variant. Despite being tougher than aluminum by approximately three times in yield strength, this material keeps weight down to an estimated under 210 grams, around the same as an iPhone 15 Pro Max, but with more structural rigidity and scratch resistance. Tesla also hints at support for solar charging through an optional magnetic solar tile accessory. Given Tesla's current solar roof tile efficiency of approximately 22%, a two-panel pocket charger with 50 square centimeters per panel could generate up to 6 watt-hours per hour in direct sunlight, enough to provide 5 to 7% charge per hour, which would fully top off the battery in approximately 14 to 18 hours of daylight. Ideal for long trips, camping, or emergency kits. Another major innovation is the rumored Neural Net coprocessor, designed to handle offline AI communication. Though Tesla hasn't officially confirmed details, industry whispers suggest local voice recognition, gesture commands, and real-time processing for Tesla ecosystem control without needing cloud access. This positions the Pi phone closer to autonomous EV-level computing than any phone on the market. Then there's the Tesla OS interface, clean, fast, and laser-focused. Instead of bloated app stores and algorithm-driven content feeds, Tesla OS provides instant control over Tesla cars, power walls, solar roofs, and Optimus bots via direct pairing. Think of it as your Tesla key fob, smart home remote, 
and AI Command Center rolled into a single slab of titanium. Ultimately, where the iPhone 16 Pro Max adds iterative upgrades, better camera, faster chip, the Pi Phone Starlink 2026 is foundationally different. It's a smartphone reimagined for a world without cell towers, data contracts, or even electrical outlets. So the real question isn't just, what can it do? It's who needs a carrier anymore? How can Tesla really sell it for such a cheap price? At just $359, the Pi Phone 2026 delivers a direct gut punch to today's smartphone market. That's not a typo. We're talking about a device with built-in Starlink, titanium housing, and Tesla OS, priced lower than a mid-tier Android. For context, the iPhone SE 2024 starts at $429 and doesn't include satellite connectivity, solar charging, or off-grid AI capabilities. Meanwhile, flagship models like the iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra sit in the $1,100 to $1,400 range, yet remain fully dependent on cellular infrastructure. So how is this possible? Tesla's vertical integration is the first clue. Over the past five years, Tesla has slashed production costs across its energy and vehicle lines by up to 30%, thanks to its gigafactory ecosystem, in-house materials engineering, and automation-first philosophy. The Pi Phone is likely riding that same model. Core components, such as its 5,000 mAh battery, neural net chip, and even titanium shell, could share material sourcing with existing Tesla products like the Cybertruck and Optimus Gen 3. Fewer vendors, less margin stacking, tighter control. On top of that, Elon Musk is expected to reapply the Cybertruck playbook. Pre-order only limited production batches, and a massive waitlist effect to build perceived exclusivity. Based on conservative projections and Tesla's early scaling behavior, the initial production run may cap at just 75,000 to 100,000 units globally, allowing Tesla to fine-tune supply chains while keeping demand outrageously high. Another reason this pricing holds is Tesla's endgame, ecosystem lock-in. The Pi Phone isn't designed to compete as just a phone. It's a gateway into Tesla's ecosystem. Your house, your EV, your robot, all in your pocket. By subsidizing the upfront cost and making the Starlink Plus plan available at just $15 a month, Tesla ensures ongoing recurring revenue, similar to how Amazon leverages Kindle for Prime, or how Apple drives services income from its iOS base. The Pi Phone isn't just a gadget, it's a message. Elon Musk just put Apple, Verizon, and Samsung on notice. At $359, with offline AI, Starlink connectivity, and Tesla OS, this isn't an upgrade. It's a total reset. But now it's your turn. Would you ditch your iPhone or Android for a Tesla phone that works without any carrier? Is $15 a month for Starlink data really the beginning of carrier-free living? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We read every one. Like this video if you found it eye-opening, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. We're on a mission to pass 1999 subscribers, and your click could be the one that gets us there. The future's going to be wild, and it might just start in your pocket.